welcome back to the channel y'all um i'm sure you saw uh, me already put out a video saying uh the super fm 90s car being built and whatnot well i accidentally did the wrong upload of the wrong video so thanks to my buddy brian he let me know and here's the proper video um the correct video uh so with that put aside i want to thank um a few people before we start the video for inspiring me uh, main uh, one was chang uh, he's out of texas um, he turned me to a lot of uh, major parts on how to design for the super fm um, so thank you chang for a lot of the little key um, ways on how to make this chassis more uh, functional for open class and I again want to thank my buddy Brian uh, for uh, sending me a couple pictures of his Super FM cars um, because in the end you know it's just a collaboration of things in your brain and you get inspired from other people and well then you get your end product of hopefully what was envisioned in your head you know but uh with all this said thank you guys for being an inspiration to me and to everyone else uh let's get on with the build and i hope you enjoy it because it's definitely unique it's definitely different than your normal uh super fm um build you would see for like speed tech style or anything this is more aimed towards open class sto 100 uh like uh full functional multiple uh you know flexible bumper style so uh, i hope you like i said i hope you enjoy it thank you again for everyone who inspired this uh build to come together and um well let's get it going
and very happy with how it turned out. The profile of the car turned out great. It looks great. I'm very excited about uh, the two-piece body setup. Overall, the, I'm very astonished on uh, the profile of the car. Uh, the front has um, about seven degrees of thrust angle, um, but the bottom plate or the bottom plate has its own natural angle, which is cool. So uh, I, you don't really have to set the brake up as much. It just it works really, really fluently. The back. Uh, the back, I still want to angle the bottom plate, um, pretty much that's the last of it, but it's pretty much ready to go, and I'm really enjoying having this pull start. I don't know if it's 100% to me at regulations, but it is unique, and it throws back to the 90s for when we used to do the pull start on the high-speed cars. Um, with the, all that being said, uh, the only thing that I had issue with throughout the build uh, that I had to keep referring to was the chassis itself. The chassis kept getting kind of tweaked. It's very temperamental, this chassis from Project D. Um, maybe Super FM chassis are just like this in general. But uh, when I made the hole for the engine cover slash transmission cover to be sandwiched with the chassis, um, I didn't make the hole wide enough for the, in, into the chassis and into the transmission cover. So I was screwing in the screw. Uh, I was tightening in, you know, with a screwdriver and the hole was kind of tight. So it was making the chassis flex in a weird way. Um, so you just gotta be careful with that. Um, especially with this Project B chassis, uh, it has this kind of like soft shell coating on it. It's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a, in cars, they have this, this same damn thing. It's like a soft touch. Um, they put like a rubber spray on it so it could be more flexible, more durable, last longer. Um, that's why towards the end of this build, you saw in the pictures, it's all, it has like, it's not really white anymore. It has like carbon all over it, it's somewhat black. It's not that I wanted it to be that way. It's that originally it started off white like that and because of the rubberized stuff they put onto it, it's not just straight plastic. So it sucked it up into the, into the chassis. I guess it's cool because it, I feel like <laughs> it has extra carbon in there. So it's like reinforced plastic now. <laughs> but um, with uh, me keep showing you this car, Obviously, I'm very happy with it, and I'm I'm just in love with this color. So, uh, with all that said, we're done here. I hope you guys enjoyed this build, enjoyed the video. Uh, we're gonna have um, another video coming out for a '90s car. I think we're gonna do maybe two more videos on the '90s. Uh, chassis maybe we'll do three uh, depending if people are still that interested um, but uh, definitely aiming for two more 90s chassis builds um, and to add to this sequel of videos and uh, we're just gonna call it here so thanks for tuning in uh, please comment leave your you leave your thoughts um and you know discretions and all kinds of things i uh, just leave them in the comments good bad whatever uh, i do read them i i get back to you guys as soon as i can um 
and uh, take everything in uh, in a good way. So even if it's a bad comment, I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, subscribe, like, share, and we love you all for it and appreciate you greatly for it. So thank you for staying uh, a follower or if you're a new watcher, thank you for tuning in and uh, well, enjoying the last little bit of this video with me. So, till next time.